One of the best techniques to beat a taller opponent is to punch as they step in. It is hard to fight taller opponents. It is quite easy to fall into chasing them around, hitting shots on your way in. Countering them is also hard because they can punch you at a distance where you cannot even reach. But by countering them as they step in, we are punching them when they are moving towards us. This makes our life easier because they are cutting half of the distance for us. Let's revisit Inoue vs. Fulton, where Inoue made a masterclass showcasing this technique. The first step to counter someone with the longer reach is to stand just outside their punching range. This will force them to reach onto you, and this is the moment when we find the opening to counter. Here we start with both fighters outside of punching range. Inoue is going to pull the high guard, to bait Fulton into attacking. Fulton steps in, trying to attack. Inoue slips the shot, and now you can see that Fulton is at Inoue's range. And Inoue attempts a counter. Even though it was deflected, you can see that it's Fulton the one doing the job for Inoue. All Inoue has to do is to move his head and counter. We need to be outside of punching range in order to see that punch coming and being able to counter. Being too close will not allow you the time to react. Important, notice Inoue's stance and demeanor. He's like a wolf stalking his prey, ready to attack. If he were too relaxed doing this technique, he wouldn't be able to react and attack on time. Without the proper distance and a solid stance, it will be harder for you to counter as they step in. There are two ways that we can counter our opponents. The first one is to punch after they have stepped in. The second one is to punch as they step in. Countering after they have punched is the most basic of counters. It is also the easiest one to pull off. It just comes down to one defensive movement and one punch right after. Starting on the same way, both fighters outside of punching range. This means that one of them has to step before they are able to punch. We see Fulton stepping in Inoue has defended by changing levels. Inoue has a clear visual of what Fulton is doing. Now that he sees that Fulton is not going to attempt any attacks, he's going to come in with his own attack, pushing off his back foot. And there you have it, a power jab coming from the rear foot that was loaded previously, that is knocking Fulton off balance. This kind of counter works really well early on the fight, since it allows you to see if your opponent is throwing any follow-up shots, your chances of getting hit are lower. As the fight progressed, you will be able to read when your opponent will attack. At this point, you will have their timing figured out and it will be easier for you to time them as they step in. This will add even more power to your shots, since now they will be walking into your punches. Both fighters outside of punching range one of them has to step before they are able to punch. We see that Fulton is the one initiating the attack, his foot is already landing on the ground, and Inoue is the one that is following up the attack. Inoue is the second one attacking, timing Fulton on his way in, catching him with a jab to the body, and countering on the top with his right hand. To successfully punch with your opponent, you must punch as you move your head off the center line. By moving your head to the side, you will make it easier to make them miss. Now both fighters start the attack at the same time. We can say it because both lead foots are on the air. What makes Inoue successful is that he's moving his head off the center line, while Fulton kept his head on the same spot. Important, even if you have your opponent's timing down, it's still safer to stay outside of punching range and keep a solid stance. This round work makes your life easier, allowing you to use less energy and increases your chances of success. We see Fulton measuring for Inoue. He realizes that he's too far, so he's going to try to get closer. He steps in again. Inoue is going to change levels again loading his rear leg. Also, we can see that Inoue has that field of vision. And again, creating power from his rear foot, Inoue steps in with a power jab. 
Fulton is breaking his base and he's leaning back. Pino is taking advantage of that and attacking for a second time. Being able to counter taller opponents as they step in can be a game changer on your next fight. Just remember, it's about keeping the right distance, keeping a solid stance, and moving your head off the center line as you are punching. If you found this video useful, let me know in the comments and tell me what do you think of this technique. Thanks for watching.